all digits of this number are hidden except the last one. Is it divisible by 2? Its last digit 4 is even, so yes, it is divisible by 2. But is it divisible by 4? Just looking at the last digit cannot determine the divisibility by 4. So what is the divisibility test for 4? Here's how we can think about it. We can expand any number as the sum of 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s and so on. Like 1214 can be expanded as 1000 plus 200s plus 10 plus 4. Each of the 100s can be divided in 25 groups of 4. 1000 is just 10 hundreds put together, so it can also be divided in groups of 4. Last two digits, 14, remain. 14 cannot be divided in groups of 4 as 2 are left out. So 1214 is not divisible by 4. Let's look at another number, 12226. Again, each of the hundreds can be divided in groups of 4. Each of the thousands and ten thousands are just multiples of hundreds, so they can also be divided in groups of four. So the digits at hundreds place and higher do not affect its divisibility by four. We only need to look at the last two digits, that is 26. 26 is not divisible by four as it leaves out two. So 12,226 is not divisible by four. Again, we see that just the last two digits can determine the divisibility by 4. Let's apply this rule for a few more numbers. 1020, the last two digits form 20 that is divisible by 4. So 1020 is divisible by 4. 345, the last two digits form 45 which is not divisible by 4. So 345 is not divisible by 4. 3334, 34 is not divisible by 4. So, 3334 is not divisible by 4. How about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? 56 is divisible by 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is divisible by 4. That's how just the last two digits can determine the divisibility by 4. What about divisibility by 8? Can we apply the same rule? Let's take 12316. Its last two digits are 1, 6. 16 is divisible by 8. So is this number also divisible by 8? Let's check. Oops, no. It leaves a remainder. So the last two digits do not determine the divisibility by 8. But why not? That's because 100 cannot be divided in groups of 8. It leaves out 4. So the digit at 100's place also matters. But thousands can be completely divided in groups of 8. So the digits at all these higher places do not matter. That means only the last three digits can determine the divisibility by 8. Here, 316 cannot be completely divided in groups of 8. 4 remains. So 12,316 is not divisible by 8. Let's apply this rule for another number, 3,224. Again, we need to check just the last three digits, 224, which is divisible by 8. So yes, 3,224 is divisible by 8. That's how checking the last two digits determine the divisibility by 4 and the last three digits determine the divisibility by 8. Using this line of thinking, can you find a divisibility rule for 16? Let us know in the comments.